Okay, dear students, let us see what is this question. What are the changes in the speed and the wavelength of monochromatic light when light passes from water to air? So, my dear students, uh, uh, let us talk about this thing like one medium is denser, one medium is rarer. So, in the case of water, we know that refractive index is given by 4 by 3, which is greater than 1. Now, what does this actually mean? Refractive index of a medium is the ratio of the speed of light in air to the speed of light of uh, of uh, the speed of light in that medium so from here i can say that if this is greater than 1 so c is greater than v which means that the velocity is lesser than the c it means that when in water the speed is lesser and when it goes into air now in the case of air the refractive index is taken as 1 so c is equal to v it means the velocity of the air now will be equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 8 like velocity of uh, the light in air so that is increased so it means in water the velocity is lesser and in air the velocity is more and i tell you like we say that this medium is rarer and this medium is denser or something now how are we able to categorize this thing for this, we have to first find the velocity of the light. If the velocity of light is more, comparatively, we start calling it rarer. And if the velocity of the light becomes lesser, we call it denser. So accordingly, we can say that water is optically dense and air is optically rare. Okay, so accordingly, uh, we can say that when the light moves from water to air, the speed will increase. No doubt about it. Now there is this formula which is C is equal to F into lambda. And we know that whenever the light is moving from one medium into another, whether rarer to denser, denser to rarer, frequency does not change. Frequency is the characteristic, sorry, the color is the characteristic of frequency. Okay. So we know that the color does not change. For example, there is a bulb in, inside water somewhere and that bulb is red colored so if you are inside the water the bulb is still red, red and when you come out of the water even then it will look red only so frequency does not change due to refraction so keeping frequency constant you can only say that the velocity is directly proportional to wavelength so more is the wavelength more becomes the velocity so when the light comes out of water and goes into air the velocity increases and it only means that the wavelength will also become bigger so wavelength will also increase so the answer for this question will be a so let us uh, verify this question from the mark scheme and yes the answer given is a so this is how we do this question my dear students if you have any other doubt in this please do uh, mention that in the comment section all the best bye